Well, I mean, usually this is the end of the tranny segment, but this is now a mix of the tranny and uh, uh, local stuff because Kefels decided to interview Christian. I do not know what the point of this interview was. I had a suspicion, and I was ready to live stream this. Um, I had a suspicion that Kefels was going to uh, try and get Chris to shit talk me. Uh, I guess he assumed that I had tortured him behind the scenes and that if he could just get Christian on, Christian would talk about how terrible uh, I was, how terrible the QB Farms was, and how anyone working to uh, bring it down is such a great person. And um, after I made a note, I, all I said is I have a sneaking suspicion about what Keffel's intentions are with this video. And Keffel's apparently recognized that there was some threat Oh, I specifically said, I, um, I can't wait for it to blow up in his face. He realized exactly what I knew. He knew that I knew that he knew. And then he decided, oh, wait, maybe I shouldn't live stream this because it might not go the way that I intended. So he decided to instead pre-record it and then put out a really, really, really awful edited version. Um, there were many issues with the video. Uh, the audio is out of sync at various places. The audio is not equalized. Uh, Chris is twice as loud as Keffels is throughout the entire thing. Uh, Keffels is using his um, his uh, front pointing microphone as like a a he's using like a shotgun mic to record from the side, so his his audio is like really low quality. There's several instances where he cuts between different segments and just leaves like two or three seconds of black frames, which you should never do because there's like that's unprofessional and gaudy as fuck. So it's just a disaster. The entire video. Oh, and the, in the original version that he put out, there's an entire seven minute long segment that's just duplicated in full. Um, and there is some stuff about the QB farms brought up, but anything about me has been cut out. Uh, and he even complained about this on his uh, live stream and said, uh, Josh thinks everything in the world revolves around him. Well, what else is the point of talking to a man who was accused of fucking his mother? Um, who knows? I'll never know what the intention was of this interview, but it did blow up in Keffels' face regardless. Um, I clipped a segment where Keffels congratulates Chris on beating incest charges. This uh, is perhaps my most liked tweet of all time. Uh, it has been liked 200,700 times, bookmarked 500 times, seen a million times. Um, and Keffels has gone out and cried about how the reaction to this is. But let me play the clip first, and then I'll read his reaction. So... Are all of the charges now dropped? Yes. Okay. I knew about the one, but again, I don't look... I'm I'm not one of these obsessed freaks. I mostly wanted <laughs> yeah. to do my due diligence because I know there's going to be a lot of people... Like, when I said I wanted to do this interview, um, there were, like, dozens and dozens of my fans who said they were... They, didn't, they weren't even aware the charges were dropped. Because people only follow to hate you. They don't care about the good news. They don't want to see you do better. So the th good things that are happening in your life, they never get publicized. So are all of the charges now? So if you, Keffels is lazy and stupid and uh, low, low intelligence. Uh, but if he had done any due diligence, like he said, he would have understood that the charges were dropped, not because of a lack of evidence. They were dropped because Chris sacrificed his right to a speedy trial. During the proceedings of the trial, he, um, they made some, his attorney on his behalf, because he had a court appointed attorney, made a filing um, that basically waived his right to a speedy trial uh, for some other gambit, I think in regards to like mental health issues. Um, and so Chris basically stayed at the really comfy jail and never went to prison and waited two years for trial. Um, the state having to deal with the entirety of Chris Chan and the thousands, hundreds of thousands of people who follow Chris and the thousands of people probably fucking with them and sending them emails every day to try and submit evidence into court to try and get Chris put away forever. Basically, I assume prohibited, prohibited the state of Virginia from actually going to trial with this. And on top of this, they would end up having to prosecute a transgender woman for incest and rape of an elderly person, um, which is not a good look in the, in the political climate to do that. 
so there was probably some political motivation there too as well to not see this go to trial. The end result is, is that Chris stayed two years in jail. And for what he was being charged with, which was a class one misdemeanor or a class five felony, um, he would get at most two years in jail. So for time served, the fact that he had already basically gotten, um, spent his time in jail for what they could convict him on, I think that Barbara was uncooperative as a witness. And also the fact that they were dealing with this like political bomb that they were just sitting on, uh, they just dropped charges. So Chris was not innocent. He was not acquitted. They uh, dropped the charges with the uh, potential to bring them back later on if uh, circumstances change. And in regards to if he actually did it, yes, he actually did it. Um, in fact, it, it's not even known if Bella talked to him about molesting his mom. Uh, from some of the logs I've seen, she was also surprised by it. Chris confirmed to me, to Bella, to some random My Little Pony YouTube animator and a couple other people that, yes, he had a sexual physical relationship with his mother involving penis and vagina and oral sex with her. And uh, it is not a question of if Chris had sex with his mother. He did do it. He denies it now because he knows that there's consequences to having sex with your mother in the state of Virginia. Um, and he doesn't want to go back to jail. But Keffel's coming out and congratulating Chris on basically beating a rape charge because you can't uh, in a demented person cannot can who who often who has one camera accidentally referred to chris as robert which is bob bob chandler his his father uh indicates that she is not in the mental state to be able to give consent so uh it's kind of a fucking disaster to go on stream with someone who is chris not know anything about chris and then compliment him on beating a rape charge basically uh, but Keffel's, of course, being a drug-addled retard, uh, didn't understand this, and now is eating shit for it. As he says here, if you checked, if you checked the replies or quote retweets of anything I've posted in the last forty-eight hours, there have been hundreds of people picture, posting pictures of drugs, telling me to relapse and telling me to die. These aren't right-wing trolls. These are people who supposedly care about progressive values. I am constantly disgusted and ashamed that so many people who consider themselves on the left absolutely hate people who struggle with mental illness, disabilities, and seemingly have no principles whatsoever, except for the fact, except for whatever can score them the most Twitter upvotes. Well, my dude, you brought it on yourself. I don't understand. What would this guy do? I just imagine if you like, I imagine like the victim card. He's just sitting there at the table. Like when you're playing Uno or Go Fish or something, he has one card in his hand and it's just the victim card. And every round he just plays the fucking victim card over and over again. What would happen if you took that card from him? If the Keffels was somehow prohibited from playing victim, I just imagine he would like deflate, you know, like a, like an inflatable pool or something. He would just be completely flat pressed against the ground and like a puddle of himself. Like, oh, my spine, my blood has been wrenched from me now that I'm no longer able to be the victim. Um, this is also the highlight of the stream. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Christine. It was a real pleasure. Yes. Yes, and thank you for having me, Keffels, and thank you again for just taking down Kiwi Farms, that massive peg. Well, that well, just it immediately cuts there. There's no discussion. It continues on, and I realized this is how Keffels got Chris to talk to him. Is that he lied? He lied to Chris and said, "I destroyed Kiwi Farms. Do you want to talk to me?" And Chris believed it at face value because he's Chris. And he's gullible. Uh, well, he's gullible to the best of days, but even some people still think that Keffels actually took down the Kiwi Farms. And he agreed because of that. So Keffels lied to a severely disabled person uh, to gain their trust, to get an interview so that he could monetize it and congratulate him on beating a incest rape charge. I hope it was worth it. <laughs> I hope you got what you wanted, bro. You deserve it. Um, I will uh, give a shout out to Ludwig World Order because he made this funny animation and I maintain that his this Thank is you how so you don't play him. of that one game. The Lud the Ludwig uh 
it's not Elder Scrolls. What is it? It's Dark Dark Souls. They kind of sound similar, I guess. Well, that, that's that's the say you don't play is the best one ever made. So I will play this. Thank yeah. you so much for coming on the show, Christine. It was a real pleasure. Yeah. Yes, and thank you for having me, Keffles. And by by the way, thanks so much for taking down Kiwi Farms. <laughs> well, taking down Kiwi Farms is the pinnacle of your accomplishments. Well, that's something nobody can ever take away from you. Well, if somehow the Kiwi Farms was actually online, that would be terrible and negate all of your hard work. But thankfully, that will never happen. Well, without a doubt, Kiwi Farms is down, or my name isn't Jesus, Allah, Mohammed, Buddha, Christian, Western Chandler. Well, on behalf of Darkside Phil, Wings of Redemption, Boogie, and all the other locales in the locale sphere, we all thank you. <laughs> well, if Kiwi Farms isn't down, may God, who is me, strike me down with a bolt of lightning. Well, perfect. Good job, my boy. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!